the nature for an awakened spirit totally clear in the mind guided by God's voice this whole world seems to be totally different as the others see it it's a totally different perspective the awakened mind sees beyond all this what is happening here the true world the world of love and harmony the real world and there is the clear understanding that the reality which has been created by Godfather has never changed and we are still there when we awaken so we experience the nature of love which has no opposite it's if always including every being and the feelings you have in that very love are always guided by the true reasoning the holy spirit under any circumstances you feel mercy peace surrender also in this world of the dreams surrender to all the suffering brothers who are still sleeping and not knowing where they get help from so the nature in this world of illusions in this world of darkness and death has not been created by god father as many religions say no god is not insane he has not created a world which is totally the opposite of his will as his will is happiness peace and constant harmony for his beloved son which we are all together so the world we made up came out of the idea to be separate from god and with the might god father has given us as a holy son which we are all together we projected the nature we projected the oceans the landscapes the stars the earth with everything in it we projected with our power and condensed light into matter as we were in conflict with ourselves not knowing anymore who we are and made up this world out of fear projecting on god as if he would hate us for what we did and made out of god a god of punishment which is never the nature of god in god there is no anger there is no negativity at all only love for his son doesn't matter what we have done he just loves us and wants that we return back home and awaken and cooperate with others to do the same so the nature we see here in this very world is linked to the ego thinking system and is practically as upside down as our thinking as we have forgotten who we are believing in separation believing in death and conflicts projecting guilt on others and on our bodies so that we make our bodies sick and kill them so same we do with the nature so when we see with an open eye the nature in this world everything finds again everything might it be the animals who are eating each other chasing each other the humans 
the plants, a big owl, a big epic tree, pushes another one away. So there's only conflict, aggression. Because that is a thinking system. So when now some people say we have to save the woods, we have to save the oceans, we have to save, that doesn't work. Not in this way. We have to change the guide of our mind to the Holy Spirit. And then all those dangers will just be vanished, cleansed away. Because everything starts in our mind. Not the outside circumstances make us suffer. No. We with our thought, thoughts, our thinking system make everything which is happening. So when one country against another one has a lot of anger, even though they might not even use weapons, they can attack the nature so that huge calamities might arise. Okay, there are also techniques which have been used or tried to be used over the nuclear of the earth against another country to create a huge, um, well, storm so that even with those huge, huge, huge waves a whole country, which is an island, can go underwater. But this would be then an artificial catastrophe, not natural, one would say, like a weapon in a war. But actually, in this very world, nothing is natural. We are not in our nature. Our nature is only love, peace and harmony as a child of God, which we are. So under the wrong guide, the ego thinking system, which we invented, out of fear from God, we practically are out of our nature. We are possessed by that thinking system, by the ego, who has only one aim, conflict, diseases, and final death. And hardly anyone believes that they are eternally living. Maybe they believe in reincarnation, but this is no solution. There's only the ego reincarnating, even though they say the soul is reincarnating. This is not true. We are not a spark of light in a body. We are the Son of God, Christ, the Holy Self. And when we imagine to be in a body, that doesn't mean we are in a body. We just use the body. And we don't recognize anymore that we are one with all our brothers and therefore we disturb our nature and also the nature outside. But just imagine, all we made, we can give the whole world in the hands of God, in the hands of the Holy Spirit, with a request, with the Holy Spirit, our guide to truth and the help of all the resurrected brothers like Jesus and Buddha and others to change and transcend our thinking system and as such, as a result, transform also the nature with love then we would love our bodies, we wouldn't use them for separation, but for communication. And all things which we use in this world under the guidance of love, of true love, not the love which separates, which is no love but hate. The ego love doesn't love, the ego love separates and kills, but the true love of God which integrates and heals all systems, also the nature, will be healed. And then even the grass is greening for you, the birds are singing for you. And you will recognize in the nature and in everyone around you the beauty of God's creation. 
and then your heart is just jumping in joy, totally fulfilled, recognizing the Holy Son of God is here now. Thank you for listening.